Before starting this tutorial, I just wanted to draw your attention to the Correlation and Regression online course by DataCamp. DataCamp offers interactive R courses that you can do directly within your web browser, and you can start the course for free. So, if you're interested in performing correlations in R, then I recommend checking out the course in DataCamp. You can find a link in the description below. A Pearson correlation test is a parametric statistical test to determine the linear correlation between two variables. For this tutorial, I will use the trees dataset that is already available within R. To load the trees dataset, I will simply run the following code. Data, open bracket, trees. Close the bracket and then press the return key. So you'll notice that the trees dataset is now available within my environment. And I can preview the trees dataset by using the head function by typing in head and then within the brackets type in trees. So notice that the trees dataset contains three variables, girth, height and volume. And these are recorded for 31 cherry trees. So in this example, what I'm going to do is to perform a Pearson correlation test to see if there is a linear correlation between the variables girth and height. So to perform the Pearson correlation test, we need to use the core.test function. And by default, the core.test function performs a two-sided Pearson correlation test. So to run a Pearson correlation, simply type in core.test, open bracket, and then you need to enter the two variables of interest that you want to correlate. For my example, I'm going to correlate the variables girth and height that are within the trees dataset. So I'm going to type in these first, so it'll be trees, dollar sign to select the variable, and then I'm going to type in girth for my first variable, add a comma, then I'm going to repeat the process, but this time I'm going to select the height variable. And by default, you do not need any more arguments within the function, since the default settings for the core.test function is that it will run a Pearson correlation test that is two-sided. So I'll press the return key to run the test. So the output for my example is displayed. There are a few parameters that returned in the results of the Pearson correlation test. These are the data, which are the two variables within the test, in this case, girth and height in the trees dataset. We then have the T statistic, the degrees of freedom, the P value of the test, the alternative hypothesis, since in my example, I run the default settings, which applied a two-sided analysis. So the alternative hypothesis is that the true correlation is not equal to zero. There's also the 95% confidence intervals and the sample estimates is the Pearson correlation coefficient value, which is this value here. So by looking at my example, you can see that the Pearson correlation coefficient is 0.52. So the Pearson correlation coefficient is a value that ranges from negative one to positive one. And a value of negative one indicates a perfectly negative association between the two variables. A value of zero indicates no association between the two variables. And a value of positive one indicates a perfectly positive association between the two variables. So since the coefficient value is positive, this means that there is a positive correlation between the variables girth and height. And 0.52 is a fairly modest correlation. You can also see that the p-value in this case is 0.002758. So if I set my alpha level to 0.05, since this p-value is below my alpha level, I would reject my null hypothesis and accept my alternative hypothesis. In other words, there is a significant positive correlation between the girth and height of the cherry trees. So there are some additional arguments that you may wish to change in the core.test function when running a Pearson correlation test. One of these could be to change the confidence level, and by default this is set to 0.95. So if you want to change the confidence level, you simply enter the argument conf.level equals and then enter a numeric value between 0 and 1. 
So if I wanted to run a Pearson correlation test with a confidence level of 0 0.90, I would simply enter 0 0.90 and then rerun the test. So as you can see, the confidence intervals are now 90%. Another thing you may wish to change is the alternative hypothesis. So in other words, do you want to run a two-sided analysis or a one-sided analysis? By default, a two-sided analysis is performed. But if I wanted to run a one-sided Pearson correlation test with the alternative hypothesis describing a positive association between the two variables, then you can simply enter the argument alternative to change this. So if I enter another argument within the function, and this is called alternative, and then equals, so the values that can be accepted here are two-sided, two-dot-sided. I remember these are within speech marks. And this would perform a two-sided Pearson correlation test, which is the default setting. Or you can change this to greater. So this would mean that the alternative hypothesis is indicating a positive correlation between the two variables. In my example, this would be a positive correlation between girth and height, or you can change this to be less. And less is when the alternative hypothesis is stating a negative correlation between the two variables. So if I were to run a one-sided positive association Pearson correlation test, I would simply enter greater here and then run the test. And as you can see here, the output states that the alternative hypothesis is that the true correlation is greater. In other words, there is a positive association than zero. So that is how you can perform a Pearson correlation test by using R. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.